Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in to a video that's a little off schedule. The Thanksgiving holiday kind of threw me off, but I was on my Ulta app this morning, like I do whenever I want to get in trouble, and I saw that they were previewing their Cyber Monday sale. So I thought I would hop on, and by preview, I mean it is Sunday as I make this video, and the sale is actually starting early at 7 p.m. Central tonight. But for some reason, this bundle of deals really caught, and not everything, but a good number of them caught my eye, in part because there are some things that I love. I use every day. It's a good excuse for me to stock up when they're having these sales. But there are also some really iconic and like cult classic products in here to where if you are doing shopping for other people and you know that they like makeup or they've really been interested in a certain kind of palette that you know has been everywhere they really love it but they just haven't wanted to invest their money in it this would be a great way to get it for them but still save some money so these are my recommendations and in addition to talking through them I figured I would also do some demos like pretty much everything I'm wearing today I will actually talk about here with the exception of like my concealer and my lipstick which I'll still list in the description bar but I'm pretty much wearing everything I'm going to talk about. So lots to cover in this video and I want to get it up by the time the sale starts tonight. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, actually, before we dive in, I do want to mention that when I was on the app, I noticed that they're also offering a coupon. There are exclusions. I'm sure you can't use them on certain prestige products or maybe it's only for products included in this Black Friday sale. But the offer is $10 off a $50 purchase, which may or may not be easy for you to do and certainly is something that would help to shave a good amount off of your purchase if you do hit that $50 threshold. So I'll flash that code up here on the screen in case you decide you want to snag some things in the sale as well. Okay, now let's actually dive in. First, starting with some products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are the products that I was talking about earlier that were kind of cult classics, um, whether you are a beauty beginner or someone that really loves to collect and use makeup, especially, you know, brands and products that might be more popular on social media. These are gonna be some good products. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. In fact, I'm just looking at the landing page now. All glow kits and liquid glows are 40% off for the Cyber Monday. So I have, the only glow kit that I have is this, uh, that glow. And this is one of those kits that every time I come back to it, I don't stop using unless I have to try something else new because it has all of my essentials. Um, and I am wearing this on the right side of my face today because I have some other highlights on the left that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. Um, so today you get four shades in here, first of all. I do think the two shades at the bottom, bubbly and dripping in gold, are very, very similar. Like I don't really notice a difference when I wear them on my skin. Um, so really I consider this to have three shades, but they're three beautiful shades. And you know me, I love to layer my highlights. So today I'm actually wearing bubbly along the tops of my cheekbone, well, this cheekbone, <laughs> and and then Sunburst, which is this gorgeous, bright, vibrant, really, really high shine, cooler gold shade. And I'm wearing that right in uh, under my outer corner of my eye. So this is a great palette for layering. You get a ton of product in here. And it's gonna be great for pretty much everyone who wants to wear, loves to wear highlight, whether they want a more subdued look. I. I know these are easily layered, so they're definitely good for people who like blinding highlights, but they're actually really finely milled, and as a result, good for just dusting on lightly for more of a dewy look without looking super disco ball-y glittery. Not that it's a bad thing, but if you're wanting more of a subtle highlight and you just want a little bit of this stuff on, it's not gonna look like you have chunks of glitter, like it does for some highlighters where unless you're layering it, only when you layer them up do you get that really continuous high shine look and when you just kind of lightly dust them on, they look really glittery. These look seamless and beautiful no matter how you like to wear them. The other Anastasia product that is on sale and that I recommend is my well-loved Modern Renaissance palette. This, uh, I could not put it down when I first got it. It's not to say I don't love it now, but it was just one of those where, again, once I start using it, I really have to force myself to like try something new if there are new launches and things like that because this is such a comfort zone palette for me. Even though there are those fun berry shades and even an orange shade over here, you still have your core classic neutrals and a wide range of them from light to deep so it's a really flexible palette across all skin tones so I really love it for all those reasons um, but in also mentioning this I want to bring up another palette because it's so similar it's also on sale in 
this Cyber Monday extravaganza. And it is a Smashbox. The whole Ablaze collection is on sale, but I'm talking specifically about the palette because again, really love it of all the Ablaze products. Um, this is one of their cover shot palettes. I did a whole video reviewing all of the cover shot palettes and comparing them to other palettes. So I mentioned this in that video, but in case you didn't see it, these are very, very similar color palettes. The cover shot is a more abbreviated version, so if you feel like you don't need all these colors or maybe you're gifting this to a makeup newbie who might get overwhelmed from having all of these colors, this would be a really great alternative because it gives you the essence of the modern renaissance with the berries, the oranges, the golden tone, even this deep dark chocolate matte and deep burnt orange over here. I mean, the look and feel is so, so similar. You just get a more concise version in this cover shot palette. And it, I don't know if I mentioned before, is 50% off for this. So I think you can get this for 14, I wanna say. I'll link everything I mentioned here in the description box so you can see for yourself. But again, a really good deal if you or someone you know um, just wants this rena modern renaissance feel, but doesn't want the overwhelm of the options. Okay, now let's talk Flower Beauty. Ulta is offering 30% off of the whole collection, but before I give you my recommendation, I do want to say that I also subscribe to the Flower Beauty, like the flowerbeauty.com newsletter as well, and they are offering 40% site-wide, I believe. So depending on, I mean, you get a greater discount if you go to flowerbeauty.com, but I know a lot of us are Ulta loyalists, so if you have points or you just want to keep building your points, you know, maybe consider the 30% as well. Just wanted to let you know, though, in case you are a deal hunter over a loyalty person so you can go to the Flower Beauty website for that 40% off. Um, so my recommendation is something that I, I recently talked about in I think the what's in my travel bag. I have been using this every single day for the last couple months. If you've seen a video from me in the last few months, odds are good I'm wearing this. It's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and mine is in the shade Warm Beige L4. It's a medium to somewhat full coverage foundation. I wouldn't call it full coverage, but what I love about it is the combination of coverage and luminosity. It gives you that lip from within look, but still gives you that really great coverage. And as someone with combo skin, it doesn't develop excess shine on me. So I don't feel like my skin looks flat or too matte or too cakey because it has that luminous feel and yet, I'm not a total oil slick down the center of my face by the end of the day because it has that element of luminosity, which can sometimes happen with more glowy or dewy foundations on me. So yeah, really love that. If you were to get one thing, that's my pick if it sounds like a foundation that's for you. Otherwise, I do have a whole video on Flower Beauty with like my top and bottom pro favorite, favorite and least favorite products from them if you want to go check it out. But that's the one product that I would absolutely get, and I may even get a spare of to stock up on. Speaking of spares to stock up on, I am so excited about this deal. I've already, literally already started filling my cart with these. Um, Dashing Diva is on sale on the Ulta website, and if you're not familiar with Dashing Diva or me and my obsession, I love press on nails. I always wear them. These are not Dashing Diva, they are Impress, which is another brand that I really, really like. But I recently discovered Dashing Diva. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know because I share my press ons a lot. And they're actually really similar to Impress in that they are a nail that has a sticky backing adhesive pre applied. So all you have to do is clean your nails with nail polish remover, not the alcohol pad that comes in these because they, they last so much longer when you use remover. You clean your nails, you peel the backing off, you stick them on, and then on me, they last at least a week. Like I, they so outdo an everyday manicure for me, it's not even funny. I haven't painted my nails the longest time. So I am stocking up on these. Hopefully I've flashed up on the screen the styles that I've already tried. And then I also have some here that I also bought from Ulta when they first started carrying Dashing Diva that I have yet to try at least a few of them anyway um, and like I said I'm already filling my cart with more because they are 40% let me double check that before I say that yes they are 40% off on these which push th puts them right around like the four or five dollar mark which is great for a press on nail okay I meant to go through this site in a more orderly fashion but I am all over the place so why start now let's talk covergirl all of covergirl is going to be 50% off um, and so I thought I would share the two things that I absolutely absolutely love from the brand again both of these I mentioned recently in both the what's in my travel bag as well as my underrated drugstore products video. Uh, the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer is I think one of the most underrated eyeshadow primers from the drugstore. Very affordable. It doesn't have any pigment to it so don't expect it to kind of cancel any discoloration or capillaries that you might have on your eyelid area but man does it 
hold. Like it takes a little bit longer to dry, which I personally like because it acts as a stickier base for maybe loose pigments or glitters if you like to work with those. And then once it is dry, it clings to your shadows until you are absolutely ready to remove them at the end of the day. It's such an, a fantastic eyeshadow primer. I really, really love it. And then my go-to brow uh, pen, pencil, what? Pencil for the longest time has been the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I go between rich brown and I think there's a lighter brown. I'm kind of flexible in that way, just in case you're wondering what shade you would be. That's probably not very helpful, but just for reference in case it helps. I love this guy because it is super, super thin as the name implies. And so it's really just good to, for me for defining and filling my brow in a more natural way. So I don't have like block looking brows. It looks more like natural hairs are filling my brows in. Okay, now let's take a turn into more eyeshadows, specifically what is on my eyes today. And before I do that, I wanna talk brushes. So I recently in my, again, my what's in my travel bag video said that I love dual ended brushes for traveling. and. One of the brushes, I, they're from It Cosmetics. I could not find, I thought they didn't make it anymore. But then I looked on this page and the brush that I couldn't find is actually in this set in an It Cosmetics for Ulta set that's gonna be 50% off. So I wanted to let you know about that as well. This is the All Over Shadow and Crease Brush. This is what I use to apply the look you're gonna see me doing here today in this video. And on one end, you have this really great crease brush. It's, it's kind of more of a perfect circle sort of fluffy brush that like the name suggests, great for the crease crease. But then on this other side, you have one that's more pinched in, still sort of rounded and fluffy on the end here, but that pinched feature of it makes it really great for packing on powder onto the lid, but also buffing it up and into the crease as well. So this is one of those products or one of those brushes I like for travel. I mean, really, I like it just in general, but it's especially great for travel because it's that two in one, don't have to worry about packing more than one brush kind of thing. And it also comes in a set with another brush that I don't think I have. It looks like it is a detail brush on one end and an angled liner brush on the other, which is great. And if the quality is anything like this one, I think it's gonna last a long time because I've had this for years at this point. Um, and I would recommend the set. It's 50% off. It says it's normally $28. So you can get two, technically four It Cosmetics brushes for 14 bucks. And I think that is an absolute steal given my experience with this guy. Now onto the eyeshadows that I'm wearing today. Select Juvia's Place palettes are going to be on sale and they don't give specifics in the Cyber Monday preview. So I kind of took a guess. I chose one that is pictured. They have three palettes pictured. So I chose one of them that is to do my look today. However, I do have a another recommendation I would make in case it's also included in the sale. So the one I'm wearing today is the Afrique palette, which is a really great combination of super bold primary colors. Well, kind of primary colors. You got your blue, you got your yellow, and then some more burgundy shades that I'm wearing on my eyes today. But you also have some classic neutral. So if you're the kind of person that loves their neutrals, they're your comfort zone, that's me, but you still want some vi bold, vibrant, really well pigmented, or well, is that the right? Nicely pigmented? I think that's the one. If you want some nicely pigmented shades to go along with those neutrals just so you can play, you know, occasionally, this is a really amazing palette to reach for because you have this bottom row and even some of these in the middle row that are those, you know, classic crease blending shades, basic neutral metallic shades with Angelique and Coffee down here, both of which I'm wearing on my eyes today. But then obviously you have your bold shades up here, which by the way are matte and really beautiful matte shot, colorful matte shadows at that because those can be hard to come by. And just overall, it's a really beautiful palette. So this is 20 bucks and you get, yeah, like I said, 40% off. So I think that's a good deal. And I, I'm sure since they included it in the image, it's gonna be in the sale, but just in case they include other palettes in there as well, if the Saharan palette is on sale, I highly recommend you check that out as well. This is a little bit closer to my everyday comfort zone because you know it's, it's more dominated by those everyday neutral shades. I mean, certainly bold and more interesting neutrals, but but neutral nonetheless. However, you have these really beautiful hot burnt corals and siennas in Sokoto and Jamila here, and it just makes for such a beautiful and interesting color palette. So I don't know that this is gonna be included in the sale, but honestly, if you're curious about Juvia's Place and you just wanna try a sample, you know, a selection of palettes from them, would highly recommend you consider this as well, because it's 
really fantastic. Nearing the end, let's talk about Physicians Formula. Um, the whole brand is gonna be 50% off, which I think is a really good deal for the brand because, I don't know, let me know if you feel this way, but it feels like their prices are a little bit higher on average as compared to a lot of the other brands from the drugstore. I mean, overall, I feel like prices have been getting up there, but Physicians Formula has pretty consistently been on the higher end of things. So 50% off is a good deal in my book. And so there are a couple things that, again, these are some of those items that once I incorporate them into my everyday routine, it's really hard to stop because they're just products that I know work well every single time. And they go with pretty much everything I wear. So first of which I actually cannot find for the life of me, so I wanna say it before I forget it. It's the Butter Bronzer. It's iconic, you've most likely heard of it. It is an ultra fine matte bronzer that is the perfect balance of warm and cool, so I guess that would make it neutral. Um, but and, and just as a result, that makes it a really great matte kind of bronzer powder where you don't wanna fully go in with a severe contour, you just kinda of wanna go in and bronze all over, but it gives that fake look of a contour, if you know what I'm saying. Absolutely love that. It close second that I've been using instead, since I can't find it, has been this guy, which is the Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Bronzer with an SPF of 30. Um, this is the light bronzer. You can see I've made a pretty sizable dent in it here, but this is a good, a close second if you can't get your hands on the butter bronzer. And then the other things that I really love from the collection are the butter highlighters. And these are what I'm wearing on the other side of my face here, just because I wanted you to see a comparison. They are so ultra smooth and kind of hydrating, I guess, if you were to choose between these or the Anastasia Glow Kit, I would say that if you struggle with drier skin, especially here in the wintertime or just in general, you might want to reach for these because they are a creamy mousse sort of texture. So you don't have to worry about them looking powdery or dry or cakey on the skin because they have that element of hydration and kind of slip to them. They just are so beautiful on the skin, kind of similar to the Glow Kit from Anastasia. The pigments are very finely milled, so you can do a little bit and not look like a disco ball, or you can really layer it and get some super high shine highlight on your cheeks. It just depends on what you wanna do, but it's versatile either way. And something else I wanna comment on just as a follow-up to all the initial videos I've done about these and included them in, they haven't dried out. I've had these some for at least six months, some for, ever since they launched, which might have been a year ago, maybe a little less than a year ago, I can't really remember, but they haven't dried out yet. There is no cracking in them, they're still intact, they're still, you know, bouncy, and they feel like they have all of their hydration in there. So I know that was a question a couple people had when these first launched was, you know, how long are they really gonna stay that texture in there before they get kind of dry and, and gross feeling? They are still around and kicking, like, like the day I first got them. So don't let that be a concern for you if it is. And then this last product is a Buxom eyeshadow palette. These are all 50% off. And it's funny, it hasn't, this has not gotten a lot of love on my channel, even though it's a really phenomenal palette and I've had it since they, close to since when they first launched it. But it's just one of those things that for one reason or another, I, I haven't reached for it, but it's a really pretty neutral with a pop of purple sort of palette. I mean, really you have your core neutral shades here, including a mix of uh, finishes. You have metallic, shimmery, matte, and then you have your pop of, it, I feel like this is not really doing it justice, but it's a pop of a pretty vibrant looking purple. So whether it appeals to you, or if again, you know someone who really wants to have maybe a higher end sort of shadow, venture outside of the drugstore, but they're not really comfortable playing with colors, maybe occasionally, this would be a good one to reach for. And if they ever wanna build onto their collection or mix and match, this is a palette where you can pull it, I mean, you open it up, it's a hard case palette, there's a nice mirror and a brush on the inside, but you can pull this out and these are individual shadows that you can mix and pull out and match in other palettes. So if they ever wanna expand on this collection, they can do so and build and customize their own palettes, which I think is really cool. Although I do wish these were magnetic palettes because it's not like, like you have to buy another palette if you're gonna mix and match, you can't just pop it out and stick it in a magnetic palette you have. That's kind of a bummer, but still gives you some versatility otherwise. So finally, those are all of my picks from the Ulta Cyber Monday sale. I would love to hear yours down in the comments below or let me know if any of these appeal to you if you think you're gonna pick some up. Like I said, I personally know that I am going all in on those Dashing Diva nails and I may have to stock up on some of my other favorites like the Flower Beauty Foundation. So let me know. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.